Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Quotes 86. Today that quote is from Willard Libby. He's actually the guy that created carbon dating. Now, you know, over the years I've been teaching so many articles, and I, I remember always coming across these numbers that are really, really big. And to be honest, sometimes even I used to be skeptical or, or how, how accurate or how exact could these numbers be when you hear numbers like 10,000 years ago, 30,000 years ago, 50,000 years ago. And I was a little skeptical, but... Um, in recent years, I, I found another um, uh, video. One guy, uh, his name was uh, Trey Smith. He talked about this, and I discovered these quotes. This is actually a quote from Willard Libby himself. This is the guy that created carbon dating. So, um, you know, once, once you find out about this, you might be more skeptical yourself about dates. So let's look at the quote first. Uh, you've read, uh, you read books and find statements that such and such a society or archaeological site is claimed to be 20,000 years old. Uh, we learn rather abruptly, rather quickly, uh, that the numbers, these ancient ages, are not known. Uh, speculation and imaginative guesses. So this is the guy who created carbon dating. He's saying that people that are using numbers of even only 20,000 it's mostly guessing. It's mostly speculation. So, um, in fact, it is about the time of the first dynasty in Egypt that the last, earliest historical date of any certainty has been established. And, you know, I did check it out. The first uh, dynasty of Egypt was around this time, 3,216 to 3,035 B.C. So any numbers that are above that become less and less accurate probably and the higher the number probably the less accurate it is once you start uh, studying about carbon dating you find out that when they do these carbon dating testing it, they come up with a lot of numbers they'll they'll test something they'll come up with like 10 different numbers on it and who's ever writing the paper uh, they just they just choose the number they like the best and those numbers can vary a lot so uh, it's not really as exact so even the creator the guy you know this is this is not a conspiracy theorist or just somebody who's commenting that doesn't know what he's talking about this is the guy that created carbon dating and he's telling you that anything beyond 3200 to 3000 bc so i don't know maybe you could round it off to say 3500 bc is probably not very accurate and the further you go back the less accurate it is so when you hear you know dinosaurs lived 15 million years ago mm -hmm. or the earth is 300 million years old or something like that they're they're guessing <laughs> probably that's uh, that's according to the guy that created it the guy that won a nobel prize for it okay anyway so i hope you got it i hope it was informative thank you for your time bye-bye